The top five profitable crypto trading strategies that as a beginner you should know, especially in 2023. It is the bear market, ladies and gentlemen, and we're slowly creeping in into that sweet, sweet bull market where all the gains are being made. We have five strategies to go over and we have a giveaway to conclude for one of my previous videos that will be done at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around to also learn what the new giveaway is and how to enter. But my name is the inspector you're about to be mind blown and please take half a second to leave a like it means so much to me and it's literally only half a second to you to just click that little like button and with that being said let's get this show on the road strategy number one trend following we're starting here on Bybit and we're starting with Bitcoin because that's the easiest currency to kind of relate to. Everybody knows about Bitcoin, everybody traded Bitcoin at some part of their life. And we're gonna zoom out a little bit because the first strategy, the trend following strategy, is all about riding the wave of a cryptocurrency's trend to make the profitable trades. But before we do anything, I will switch to the logarithmic chart. So the logarithmic chart is just much better for predicting price action and just for drawing on the charts. The logarithmic chart just makes way more sense so with that being said I'm gonna take this high point here from the end of the bull market at almost 69 actually it should be exactly 69,000 and I will just draw a trend line down to try to touch only the tops so only the upper parts pull it all the way down and let's pull it a little bit more here there we go and now this is a trend line now we can do the same thing for the bottom section and now this would be a trend following strategy now Bitcoin has almost come down of the trend right here but fortunately it has re-entered and you can see how precise the trend lines actually are so now the trend following strategy means you trade with the trend so you would short from here all the way down everything here would be only shorting up until Bitcoin has broken through the big resistance and from there the trend is re being reversed so now we're not in the bearish trend anymore we're establishing something new as, as far as the trend following strategy establish the trend and trade accordingly so this was a downward trend a bearish trend for Bitcoin. So if you do want to trade with me, go over to my link in the description down below for Bybit, sign up for Bybit, and you can get from 100 up to $30,000 in cashback bonuses. Also, you will enter a raffle to win $1,500, but more of that at the end of the video. Now, strategy number two swing trading swing trading is something else entirely. For swing trading, we're going to go over to the four hour chart or even the one hour chart could also work for swing trading but we're gonna keep on the four hour chart and swing trading would basically be this shorting here and then longing here obviously that's the best case scenario it is very hard to predict those movements and swing trading requires a disciplined approach to risk management so a swing trade can last from a couple days to a couple weeks normally and with swing trading you do want to capture the larger price movement so you would preferably want to take a long here and not exit here but continue going up and then exit here that would be a very good swing trade so let's go over to trading view and here is a trend that i set up here for bitcoin here's where you can follow a trend and then you can also swing trade so all of these things i talk about today are interchangeable and combinable in a way and you can use all five approaches in order to find your perfect position i'm looking at the volume right here and i'm also looking at the rs Sigh. something that can also work for you you can use the super trend so this is the super trend indicator you can go to trading view into indicators and just search for super trend so the super trend kind of shows you the price action of if it's bullish or bearish currently we're in a bearish price action and we're also at the top of my trend trend line right here at the top of the resistance so it can really easily get rejected here so again we had this trend right here and then when, when, when it comes to swing trading you would preferably want to long here short here here, long here short long short etc etc you get what I mean so swing trading a little bit more difficult to pull off but definitely also something you should know strategy number three sculpting aha my favorite sculpting is probably the most fun thing to do sculpting is probably the most dangerous thing to do sculpting is what you do when you go over to the five minute, 15 minute 30 minute charts even the one minute chart and sometimes I take it to the extreme with some of the series that I'm doing and I trade the one second 
motion chart. That's something I do not recommend, but it is extremely fun to do and extremely fun to watch as well. Now, you need a lot of technical analysis knowledge in order to pull off scalping here. So, for example, this. This is a move up, let's see here. So, this is a move up of around 0.7%. And when you trade that with leverage on futures trading, if you go over on Bybit, and you can use my link in the description down below to trade on Bybit if you want to. So, what I do for scalping, I go even lower. I go in the one minute time frame and I really just try to scalp things like this. The 0.10% up and then I scalp this is also 0.10% down. For scalping, I would also set up trend lines like this, but I would set up resistances and support zones. So I would try to see if the price action was rejected and supported at similar areas. So this would this would be it right here. And then we have so we have resistance here, and then we have support around this area here. So it was supported a lot of times, as you can see, one, two. We got three, four, five, six, seven, seven times that it was supported. So then the way I would do it is try to find when it hits the next support zone and just long from the support zone up until the resistance zone. And that's how I would scalp it. Now, this might also be considered range trading. And that is the next thing we're going to talk about. Strategy number four range trading now the difference between scalping and range trading is that scalping is done on the smaller time frames as for range trading i would probably go to the one hour chart that is where i do most of my range trades so this is what it looks like basically you set up the upper resistance zone and you set up the lower support zone and you trade within that range hence it's called range trading so let's try and do something like that here for bitcoin so bitcoin right now is in a range that is for sure the lower trend line right here we got some sort of upper upper resistance line right here and you could consider this a range so the range is going here from down to up to down to up and this this would be considered range trading up until it leaves the range and then that's not range trading anymore it turns into something else depending on how long you're gonna stay in the trade it can be day trading swing trading sculpting whatever you, you you get you get what i mean at this point so this would be considered range trading and so here is where i wouldn't put in a trade because it's not in a tr in a tradable zone right now it's kind of in the middle so i would definitely not put in a trade right here i would wait for bitcoin to confirm either the upper trend line or the lower trend line right here and then trade accordingly either longing or shorting strategy number five arbitrage trading so you take advantages of the price difference between two exchanges and let me give you here an example so we are on bybit currently and the price of bitcoin on bybit is twenty seven thousand four hundred and eighty seven. if you go over to trading view i have put in bitcoin here from the okx exchange and it is 27,500 on the OKX exchange. So therefore, I can just buy Bitcoin on spot right here for for around 0.1 around 0.1% uh, of difference so 0.1% of difference between these two exchanges now this would be a terrible idea for arbitrage because I would probably lose uh, the funds because I would probably lose out on all the profits from doing the transfers but then again this is just a random example that I gave you here if you ever find a bigger difference on two exchanges that is when you do arbitrage trading and that is what a lot of people did uh, to get rich in crypto they did arbitrage trading including the famous FTX leader SBF. That is how he got rich. It does seem a little bit scammy, doesn't it? I never did arbitrage trading myself. It does seem a little bit scammy, but it's something you can do. So there you go. A lot of people do arbitrage trading. Now, as for chapter six, which is the giveaway, let's do that now. I told you guys to pick a web two game or a web three game, which is your favorite, and leave me a comment. Once you do, I will pick a winner and send him $80. So in order for this to be fair, it has to be random. This is gonna be totally random. So I'm just gonna scroll up and down here and kind of put my mouse on someone. I are hosting Co. Congratulations, you are the winner. Binance Smart Chain Wallet. The funds have just been sent. Congratulations to the winner. And here is the next giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do, and this giveaway is made in a collaboration with me and Bybit. So all you have to do is go over in my link in the description down below. You sign up through that link. You sign up to Bybit. You do the KYC. So you prove your identity and then you make a deposit. Now, once you do, you don't have to trade. The money is with you. You're not giving your money away to anyone else. You can do whatever you want with your money. You can trade. You don't have to if you don't want to. And that way you enter the raffle to win an iPhone 14 Pro. Now, because of technical difficulties, you will not get the iPhone but 1,500 US dollars in USDT obviously and so on the 30th of April someone random that did this will get chosen and win that huge 
sum of money 1500 usdt ladies and gentlemen someone will win that amount bybit will choose the winner so i can keep it totally non-biased i am not gonna give it to my friends or someone else bybit will choose the winner they will give me confirmation of the payment and i will show you guys which id has won so you can know if you won but if you did win you'll probably get a notification on your bybit account and my camera has died thank you for watching inspectors out